It was a time of cold, a time of storms, a time of snow. Winter time, and that meant, well, the wolves are out. It didn't matter where you were, whether down on the ground, up in the mountains, or worshipping in the temples. It didn't matter where you were. Up above, the gods were having another battle. No quarter was asked for or given between them. And the problem was, if we didn't move and fast, we also would be caught up in the onslaught and be destroyed. Our castles were targets. No matter how strong they were, how thick the walls, or how deeply we, we dug. If they hit us, we too would be nothing. The cities of the gods have been wondrous things, rising out of the ground, many, many miles tall. But the battles had destroyed them all. Our own cities were small and low to the ground, and nowhere near as advanced as the gods had been. But then, there were still weapons of the gods that roamed the earth, and they did not attack cities like we built. Others lived in simple villages and lived quietly and they lived safely. Many of these people never even saw the gods. Deep, deep underground, we found the libraries of knowledge that had been left behind by the previous gods. We preserved them even though we could not read the words on the page. The few scholars that could read them were housed in places like these. Great, powerful fortresses. We had long since learned that the gods would not come to places of stone and water, and so that is the way we built our fortresses. From time to time, the gods would descend and look upon what we had built. As long as it blew away, we were very happy. And thus we live among the ruins of the gods. Who am I? I am Daniel of the line of Beowulf, guardian of the knowledge of the gods. And guardian 
of those who can still understand what the gods left behind. And more importantly, guardians of those who, who could teach others how to read what the gods left behind. And so we wait, like my father and his father and his father before him, many, many generations back. One day the gods will end their petty war. And they shall descend from the heavens. And we will both live in peace side by side. And they will teach us again what we have lost. At least, that is what we hope. For no one truly knows the minds of the gods. And so I wait, like my father and his father and his father before him, for what we hope will happen. If not, well, we will wait nonetheless.